From the WBBZ-TV studio in the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time to play... Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. And now, here's your host, John DeShulo, with today's two teams. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Happy to have you here. Take a look at our beautiful studio audience. They are so swell. They're here tonight, ready to cheer on our hometown teams. And our hometown teams are here, and they're really going to be rooting on the Buffalo Bills because we are getting ready for football season here on Bragging Rights. On the red side, the Buffalo Williams from Buffalo, New York. We'll find out why these ladies are big fans, and they're playing against Still Waiting on the blue side. These guys are from Bill's country, and I think I know the reason the name of the team is called Still Waiting. But our guest scorekeeper is also a Bill's fan from Time Warner Cable. Say hi to Gabriel Mediac. Hello, Gabriel. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Gabriel, it's been a year since we saw you. The last time you were here, we talked about what you do uh, when you were doing some uh, multimedia journalist work. Now you're a little bit more behind the scenes at Time Warner Cable. What are you doing over there? Yes, I am. It's been a whole year since I've seen you guys. I'm actually producing now for the news. So I do shows four through seven. I write everything. I send the reporters out. It's been a really good experience, but I'm still hoping to get back in the field eventually. Well, you're a great spokesperson for Time <laughs> Warner and a great on-air personality. We're happy to have you here. We'll find out more about what you're doing at Time Warner and the fact that, of course, you, like all of us, are Buffalo Bills fans. Fans, aren't we? Yes, yes, we are. <laughs> All right, we'll come over and meet the, the uh, team captain here, and you are? I'm Danny. <laughs> Hi, Danny. So the team is Buffalo Williams. You have your shirts all decked out. What, what's the uh, significance with the name? Well, we're the Williams sisters, and there's lots of Williams on the Bills, so we like to represent. <laughs> Very nice. Now, are there more sisters, or is this the three of you? Uh, this is it. We have one brother, but... This where did he where did he go? Where, why is he not here? <laughs> I don't know. He should be here. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I work for AmeriCorps. Oh, very nice. They do a lot of great community work, AmeriCorps in Western New York. We do. It's a great organization. All right, and uh, introduce your sisters. Um, this is Amanda. Uh, she's an older, the oldest sister. She's a teacher. Um, and then on the end is Nicole. She works for Ingram Micro. Great. Well, Amanda and Nicole, thanks for being here. And uh, you're Bills, Bills fans, right? Oh, yeah, of Ab course. Absolutely. Okay, now we'll find out uh, who these guys are. You are? Dave. Dave, look at those glasses. You look uh, like the super fan. <laughs> I, I try to be. Now, so the significance of the name, is it the reason that I'm thinking, still waiting? Still waiting to win a Super Bowl. Been to four of them. 0-4. Tough years, weren't they? Dave? Oh, absolutely. Fun to watch watch the uh, regular season and playoffs, but that by the time we hit that fourth one, it was just you know gut wrenching. Yeah, yeah. We're old enough to remember that. These young ladies may not remember those. That, are that's right. Yeah, probably not. You know. So who's on the team with you? Uh, it's my friends Mark and Tom. Mark and Tom, they're all decked out in their Bill shirts, and I uh, love the sunglasses, guys. Maybe we'll steal those from you in a little bit. All right, Gabriel's over at the scoreboard. We're going to play for points. The blue team is going to start. They won the coin toss. When we select your team, you want to take a look at the game board and select your block so you can get it across, up and down or diagonal for a bonus of 50 points. You're playing for points, and each question in the first round worth 10, in the, tw in the second round worth 20, and in the third round worth 30 points. If you get the most points on the team, not only do you win some fun prizes, but you become eligible to win three large screen LED HD TVs from Dirt Cheap TV. Our sponsor, over on Niagara Falls Boulevard. All right, so we're ready to play. Our teams are ready to go. And uh, Dave, you're up first. Take a look at the game board with the lovely Gabriel Mediac. Where would you like your block to go? We'll go with D1. D1? Yeah, D1 All at right. the top. There we go. Okay. Which major United States city is the driest? A, Las Vegas, B, Phoenix, or C, Los Angeles? Driest. Been pretty dry here, too. Phoenix. B, Gabrielle? Uh, guys, it's A, Las Vegas. Yeah. It gets about four inches of rain a year. Phoenix <laughs> gets about eight, LA over 10. All right, have you guys ever been out west? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you like it out there? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's a lot of dry heat. That's what they do. <laughs> yes. All right, Danny, take a look at the game board, and uh, where would you like your game block to go? Go for it. A1. 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 There we go. How about this? How many Buffalo Bills players are in the Hall of Fame? 
A, five, B, seven, or C, nine? We have some more Bills questions, oddly enough. <laughs> How many Bills players in the Hall of Fame? Five, go. seven, or nine? We're gonna go with B, seven. B. Correct, B, seven. Well, girls got it. <laughs> Now, David, a good follow-up would be to ask you who they are, but I'll tell you. It's Joe Delamalore, Jim Kelly, Andre Reid, Billy Shaw, O.J. Simpson, Bruce Smith, Thurman Thomas, James Lofton, who played with the Bills in 89 and 92, uh, and uh, is but not considered a Bill inductee. All right, so there we go. You got the names of those guys. We're up to question three. Where would you like your game block to go? We'll go with D1 again. D1. Okay. Which Bills player was the first to be inducted into the Hall of Fame? A, Billy Shaw, B, Jim Kelly, or C, O.J. Simpson? First into the Hall of Fame. O.J. C. Correct, C, O.J. Yep. <laughs> O.J. was inducted in 1985, Billy Shaw in 1999, and Jim Kelly in 2002. Okay, Danny and the Buffalo Williams, you're next. All right. <laughs> Where do you want your game block? A2. A2, coming there down the go. line. All right, this is a brand new feature we're introducing on Bragging Rights. These are video questions shot in the <laughs> great state of California. Take a look and see if you have the correct answer, Buffalo Williams. Take a look, you're overlooking Los Angeles, but what is Los Angeles best nicknamed for? A, the city of stars, B, the city of light, or C, the city of angels. Okay, so City of Stars, City of Light, City of Angels. C, City of Angels. Is it, Gabrielle? Correct, C, City yeah, of Angels. Yeah, we got some roll. points up. <laughs> All right, we're, that was the last question in the uh, round. So we're going to take a look at the scoreboard that Gabrielle Mediak is standing in front of. What's the scores we end round one? The girls are winning 20 to 10. Ooh, 20 to 10. Guys, we'll see if you can pick it up. 20 points, that's what each question's worth when we come back right after this. Make me wanna shout. Kick your heels up and shout. Throw your hands up and shout. Throw your hands up and shout. Yeah. Gabrielle, good idea. We stole the glasses from the uh, guys. We did. Uh, and you know what this is? This is a selfie moment. Uh, take it up. There we go. Love it. There you go. And Chris Musial said, When isn't it a selfie moment for me? True. Yeah. And me. And yes, and you, <laughs> my Facebook followers. So you're a big Bills fan as well. I am. This is our year. I'm feeling it. I like Rex. I know some people are on the fence about him, but I'm feeling good. How about his brother? Interesting guy. I liked when they were on that tandem bike together. That was hilarious. Yeah, did you like that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, that was for a commercial that's coming that up. Great. I have a little backstory on that. Uh, James Gillen, who's a business partner of mine, put that commercial together on the tandem oh bike. Gosh. I guess for Topps uh, Markets coming up this fall. Yeah, That was it. great. Everyone loved it. Yeah. So here we are with these glasses. I think uh, yes. we'll have to give them back to the guys, unfortunately. I know. Yeah. So, Gabrielle, where are you from exactly in Western New York? I'm from Lancaster. I went to Lancaster High School and I went to Buff State College. And here you are working at Time Warner Cable. And where, yes. can we, where can we watch Time Warner Cable on the cable? Oh, you guys can watch it on Channel 9. Or if you have Time Warner Cable, when you turn on the TV, it's Channel 1 automatically. Ja there you go. Right there. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and I'm going to take those glasses from you. Yeah, because yeah, those guys, you know, they're going to get very upset. Yes. And here's our website, by the way. It's WBBZ.TV. You can find out all about this television station. We're on Cable 5 or HD 1250. And you can check your local listings, of course, and find out where you are. All right, so the guys get their, their glasses back, and uh, we are back with the still waiting team. They're still waiting for the Super Bowl in Bills country, and they're playing against the Buffalo Williams, these sisters, also Bills fans from Buffalo. All right, I'm going to come over and introduce you to another member of the uh, still waiting group. You are? Mark. Mark, how you doing? Good, good. So tell me about your most incredible Buffalo Bills experience. Um, just uh, the winning, the, the year when they uh, beat Oakland, going to the Super Bowl. It was a great game. Were you at that Houston game? Did we talk about that? No, I wasn't. I was insulating my attic. Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was a big, big comeback. Yes, I had turned, listened on the radio, but I turned it off. Well, you know, a lot of people did. Yeah, that was one of those great, crazy moments. Now, are you expecting to go to the, the games this season? Yes, I have seen tickets. All right, bring us along, will you? Okay. All right, he's cheering on the Bills, and uh, we're going to come over and meet another sister, and you are? Amanda. Hi, Amanda, what do you do? Uh, I'm a fourth grade teacher. Great, what school? 
Uh, the Charter School for Applied Technologies. Great, it's in like the Riverside, Black Rock sort of uh, area there. Yeah. So give a shout out to your students. Hey guys, <laughs> woo, <laughs> woo. So tell me about your most incredible Buffalo Bills experience. Oh man, I, I had season tickets for a year and that was a pretty incredible time. I lived in Rochester and so it was, it, it was the whole weekend trip, but uh, it is always good, win or lose. You feel good about the team this year? Absolutely. Yeah, okay. All right, well, we do too. All right, so Amanda's here. We're having some fun. Okay, Gabriel Mediac, what's the score as we begin round two? We've got the girls at 20 and the boys at 10. All right, so the girls are ahead, and each question is worth 20 points in the round. The guys are up next. David, take a look at the scoreboard. Where do you want your block to go? A4. Okay. A4 on the bottom. We're trying to block them out. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are getting tough. All right, what U.S. president was the first to be born in the 1900s? A, Eisenhower, B, Kennedy, or C, Lyndon Johnson? First to be born in the 1900s. Eisenhower, Kennedy, or Lyndon Johnson? Lyndon Johnson. C. Uh, no, B. Kennedy. Sorry, guys. John F. Kennedy, born in 1917. All right, we're coming up. The girls are next. Danny, there's your game board. A3. A3? Yes. Okay, okay. you're going to try to get uh, your blocks going down the road there. A griffin is comprised of what two things? A, eagle and a lion. B, man and a horse. Or C, a bull and a horse. A griffin. Uh, we're going to choose A. Eagle and a lion. They're correct, A. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations. 20 more points. Guys, I think you're going to be still waiting. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, just say it. All right, so here we go. All right, pick a game block, guys. Got to go A4. A4, okay, you're going to try to get a block. Again, here we go. Who won an Oscar for his portrayal of an aging pool shark named Eddie? in the film The Color of Money? Was that Oscar won by A, Marlon Brando, B, Paul Newman, or C, Dick Van Patten? I'll help from the audience. Paul Newman. B. Correct, B, Yeah, Paul we Newman. got points and we got a block. <laughs> They're coming back, Danny. They're coming back, <laughs> these guys. They like you, though. Okay, so now you have to look at the board. Where do you want to start? Uh, D4. Okay, on the other side, The Color of Money was a sequel to what other earlier Newman movie? A, Deadpool, B, Cool Hand Luke, or C, The Hustler? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna go with B. Cool Hand Luke. No, sorry guys, see The Hustler. Yeah, the 1959 movie, as a matter of fact. Great movie, I don't know if these guys have seen it. Paul Newman, yeah, you're shaking your heads, yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, so it's your turn, and it's your game piece to pick. C2. C2. Question nine, when was the first Allentown Art Festival? A, 1952, B, 1958, or C, 1966? 52, 58, or 66? Is there an audience? Uh, you can ask the audience. Yep, you have one question per game, and you can do that. Audience, here, listen up. <laughs> when was the first Allentown Art Festival? A, 1952, B, 1958, or C, 1966? Anybody? Wait. Scream it out. <laughs> Your turn. Five Okay, is that, uh, the audience has spoken, but uh, it's up to you guys. What do you think? We're, we're going to go with Jeff. 1958. <laughs> 1958. B. He was right, 1958. Wow. Took a while. <laughs> <laughs> They're still waiting. I was still waiting for that answer. All right, we have the last question in this round. Danny, it's your turn. You can ask the audience, too, coming up. One, <laughs> Yep. Uh, we're going to have to go with B3. You're in B3. Okay, okay. so you're going to try to get a block. Oh, this there is a strategy. Great game here. <laughs> All right, this question is also on video, so take a look at the screen. 
Bragging Rights camera right here at Malibu Canyon. Unbelievable view. This is where a lot of the exteriors for the popular series MASH were shot. MASH, of course, weeknights at 7 and 7.30 on WBBZ TV and the BTV network. So we'll ask a MASH question. Who played the priest? Was it A, William Catt, B, William Holden, or C, William Christopher? Who played the priest on MASH? William Catt, William Holden, or William Christopher? No. <laughs> we can ask them. Ladies? We'll ask the audience. You want to ask the audience? Okay. <laughs> you did so well the last time. All right, Father Mulcahy, which actor, audience? William Catt, A, B, William Holden, or C, William Christopher? I mean, got him for the last time. <laughs> hey, they, the audience has sort of spoken, some of them. <laughs> Others are looking at themselves on the monitor. All right, Danny, what, what do you think? Friggin' I with William Christopher. C. He is right again in the oh, audience. He's the audience. C. <laughs> He's the bragging rights audience <laughs> champ of all time. All right, we're wrapping up this game, uh, this segment. What's the score, Gabrielle? The girls just took the lead by a smidge, 60 to 50. Wow, 60 to 50, tight game. Who's going to have the bragging rights? Find out when we come back right after this. Bragging Rights on WBBZ-TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. Welcome back to Bragging Rights, everybody. John DeShula with you here. Hey, we had a big high-level meeting and uh, found out uh, uh, the uh, still waiting team, you'll need to hear this. In the question that we just asked, what U.S. president was the first to be born in the 1900s? Uh, and you had uh, answered correctly with the answer that you had given us. So those points, those 20 points, are going to go uh, back on the board for you. Uh, you had answered Lyndon Johnson, and that was actually correct. Uh, Kennedy uh, was correct as well, but <laughs> Lyndon Johnson. So there's a couple of points that the Weimers will get with... Uh, with their, with their game board. And speaking of the Weimers, the friends of uh, the team that's up there on the blue side are right here. This, look at this whole big crowd of family and friends, moms, dads, sisters, brothers. And um, so the one individual who was, you were shouting out, uh, and you and I go way back, what's your name? Jeff Crowden. Jeff, and uh, you were with, uh, well, tell us a little bit of your background. Uh, I was in the music business for 30 years, and for the last nine, I've been at the Better Business Bureau, and we were here last year in May. Yeah, that's right. You were here, and you were with Warner Brothers Records. Of Correct. Yeah, so you were there when the Goo Goo Dolls first broke. Yes, I was. Yeah, that's yeah. a while back. It, it, is, it is a while back, yeah. Those are great They're days. Friends of ours. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, here you are answering every question correctly. So the audience shout out, we're done with it. So no, 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 uh, no hints. And we're speaking about the Buffalo Bills because these teams are all cheering for our hometown team. Let's go to the website, buffalobills.com, if you want to find out more about the team, where you can get tickets, the uh, season, a big one. Rex Ryan and his brother, we're happy to support the team. We're back now with our teams right here on the hometown stage. On the blue side, still waiting. These guys just got an extra bonus of points. Well, they're playing against the girls, Buffalo Williams. All right, we're up to question 11, and we're going to come over now and meet another member of the team, and you are? I'm Tom. Tom, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Now, Tom, you look familiar. Why is that? Uh, I'm a letter carrier for the mall here. So you bring us all the checks? Uh, that and the bills. Oh, okay. Just keep bringing the checks. <laughs> well, it all pays my bills, so yeah. I bring all of them. There you go. Well, and you're out there, and what, what's the motto? Rain, snow? It rains, snow, or sleet, yes. And, and, uh, and dogs. And dogs, yeah. It's kind of like going to a Bills game, rain, snow, sleet. Oh, and, and wild turkeys. I have a wild turkey chasing me every day now. Really? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm all about it. The wild turkey. And he's not drinking that wild turkey either. It's chasing him. All right, and you are? Nicole. Hi, Nicole. What do you do for a living? Um, I work at Ingram Micro. Oh, right around the corner. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, tell me about your craziest Bills fan, uh, or Bills experience. Did it include wild turkey? I hope not. <laughs> no, no. I think just uh, diverting from the other people that are uh, tailgating. Right, yeah, you have to tailgate responsibly, right? Yeah. yeah. But you're cheering on our hometown team. Yep. All right, so what was it like growing up with these girls? Oh, it was, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I bet, I bet. It looks it, and they're here, and they're having fun here on Bragging Rights. Gabriel Mediac from Time Warner Cable. What's the score as we begin the third and final round? So after that mix-up, we've got the boys ahead at 70, and the girls are at 60. All right, so 70 close. to 60. We flipped it. It's still a close game, and we're having a lot of fun. We're up to question 11. Okay, guys, you're next. Pick a game block. D4. 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 At the bottom there, Gabriel. D4. 
Who played the middle brother on the Meat TV series Bonanza? A, Michael Landon, B, Pernell Roberts, or C, Dan Blocker? The middle brother. Bonanza weekday afternoons here on WBBZ TV. Dan Blacker. C. Correct, C, Dan Blacker. Yeah. Haas. Okay, Danny, you're next. I'm gonna go D3. D3. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? A, two, B, three, or C, four? Teaspoons in a tablespoon. Ladies? Uh, we're gonna go three. B. Correct, three. Good guess. <laughs> Gents? David? C3. Okay. All gonna try right. to get a block. How many liters in a United States gallon? A, 2.67, B, 3.78, or C, 4.34? How many liters in a U.S. gallon? 2.67, 3.78, What are the answers again? Uh, 2.67, A, B, 3.78, or C, 4.34? B. Correct, B. Wow, there you go. That was a good, good exchange. We're maximizing every opportunity on bragging rights. Danny is next and the Buffalo Williams. Go with B4. Okay. B4. What president gave you the Department of Energy and the Department of Education? A, President Lyndon Johnson, B, Richard Nixon, or C, Jimmy Carter? We're going with Carter. C. Correct. C. <laughs> Jimmy Carter, thank you. Question 15 is next. Oh, David, and still waiting. Great game, getting a lot of blocks, points. C1. Okay, C1. Since 1950, the nation's highest inflation rate has been 15%. What year did that happen? A, 1952 during the Korean War, B, 1980 during the Carter administration, or C, 2008 during the Bush administration? Since 1950, the nation's highest inflation has been 15%. 52, 80, or 2008? Uh, 1980. B. B, 1980. Yep, there it is. <laughs> this is the last question in the game for the Buffalo Williams, the sisters from Buffalo. No, don't. Take a look. Um, C4. Okay. Okay, C4. <laughs> Who was the female lead with James Stewart in the holiday classic, It's a Wonderful Life? A, Donna Reed, B, Myrna Loy, or C, Claudette Colbert? Great holiday movie. Donna Reed, Myrna Loy, or Claudette Colbert? We're gonna go C. No, I'm sorry, you guys, it's A, Donna Reed. Yep, every season you gotta get to see it. All right, we are <laughs> at the end of this exciting bragging rights. Wasn't it exciting, audience? Yes, it was. <laughs> Gabriel Mediac, Time Warner Cable. Gabriel, what's the final score? Still waiting, is not waiting anymore. 160 with the win, and the girls had 120. Great game, guys. All right, great game. So, gents, you're waiting no longer. You are the bragging rights chance, but what a great game. And ladies, we're not gonna send you home empty-handed. You know what we have for you from Viddlers, our friends, I've got some in my pocket. How about this bacon-flavored floss and bacon-flavored <laughs> gum? All of these fun cool. things that are, you know, just perfect for, for well, I'll, I'll give it to you. And then, guys, we're going to send you home because, you know, for the ladies in your life, some sweet works, some candies from our friends over at the uh, factory in Chictawaga, some celebration candies. And we're celebrating the Buffalo Bills this season, of course, in the zone right here on WBBZ TV Monday night. Gabriel Mediac, thanks for joining us from Time Warner Thank Cable. Thank you, guys. It was so much fun. And guess what? These ladies are going to try to come back to claim victory. Stay tuned. They're going to be on tomorrow's edition of Bragging Rights. We'll see you then right here on your hometown MeTV. TV station.
Now, baby, say 